Well, Wally here. So, look. Just so look, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> Guys, you know what I think about Varstu Laker gear, okay? It's very good. It's good stuff. It's well made. They have some decent surplus and their own stuff is really, really good, okay? So, when... Let me just show you. I have a big bag of stuff from Varsta Liquor. <laughs> Stay tuned. It almost seems a shame to tear it open. Guys, before I tear into this bag and show you what goodies they have sent me, I need to say a big thank you to Mariana in, in Varsta Liquor who, who organized all this for me. Uh, thank you very much. Really appreciate it, okay? Let's have a look, right? It's green. That's green. This is grey. And this is a box. All of this is from their own range, from their Sarma range, guys, okay? So let's, 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 Let's just get stuck in. I'm going to take this off. There's two coats in here, two jackets, guys. First one, right? This is the Sarma blanket shirt, okay? And this, now this is complete first impressions, guys. Quite soft. This is wool. This is, this is a wool anorak smock. They call it a shirt. I call them smock -araks. Check this out. Oh, this is really cozy. Check this out. Ooh. Check it out. This is the sizing on it, guys. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. Decent hood. Guys, and this is a size extra large and all I have underneath this is, is, a, is a fleece jumper. This is cool. I like this. Next. This is the Sarma. You guys have been asking about this, right? And this is how it came, came about. I'm going to take this off. Put that very carefully down. Guys, this is the Sarma wool shell jacket. Okay, so this is the match to the trousers that I wear. Sort of the match. They don't make the, the, the same color anymore. To the trousers that I wear in the winter. You see me wearing them all the time. Very, uh, their combat trout. Ah, you'll know them, guys. I'll link. I'll link them up. Okay. This is. If if this is like the trousers, this is going to be exceptional. The trousers are just unreal. Oh, it's just it just. This is the thing about the Forest of Liquor stuff, guys. And I know I'm mispronouncing it. And I I I, I know you get you Nordic guys are on and you're you're screaming in your head. You're saying it wrong, Wooly. I don't care, guys. The quality. It's just something else. This. I'm, I'm unsure if this is going to be the right size for me. Oh no, it's it's spot on. It said it recommended a medium regular, but I had to get the medium long because there was no uh, there was there was none in my size. What do you think of that? You know, I could have went a wee bit bigger on it. Check that out. Sleeves are good. Love the Velcro. Oh, it's very Velcro-y. Pit tips. 
Oh, I can't get them back up. <laughs> Guys, it's a little bit stiff. It's a little bit stiff. Oh, yeah, I need. So look. Let me see how it looks. What does the hood look like? It's quite Robin Hoodie. Oh, my beard. Is it my beard? This is really nice. This is really nice. Fair bit of movement in it. Let's feel a little bit tight across the chest, but no. Could be the jumper I have on. Guys, this is nice. Do you want to see what's in the box? Who wants to see what's in the box? Guys, guess it's down below. What is in the box? What is in the box? I like this. I like this a lot. I'm gonna leave it on actually. It's quite cold, quite cold today. Oh no. Okay, you ready for the box? Bruno, give me the stick. Give me the stick. Look, Randy, I always throw the stick. I just usually don't show it on camera because it becomes annoying. Yep. Didn't throw it that time. I have it, Bruno, I have it! You ready? Three, two, hey Cooter! Two, one, go! He's away the wrong way, though. Go on, you can get it. Go on, you can get it. Ever decrease in circles, Bruno. Ever decrease in circles. Good dog, good dog, you're close. Good dog! He's a good dog. Right, what's in the box? What is in the box, I hear you say? This, these are something that I saw and I thought to myself, right. A little bit out of the ordinary, not really something that I would, it's something I've been looking at outside the channels, outside the channels, guys, uh, outside of, of, of what I record, okay? So, These guys are the Sarma jump boots, and these are uh, these are like a recreation of the what is the name of them? The U.S. Army World War II boots, Corker and jump boots, I think you call them. They're quite light. They're lighter than I thought. Quite heavy-duty leather as well, guys. And these are unlined boots, okay? Leather, uh, and these are designed. Sorry, they're not designed for anything. They're just an online pair of boots, guys. And I thought, you know what? I'm sort of going that way. Let's get a pair. Let's see how they work out. Uh, and let's see what they're like wearing them in the forest, guys. Look at that. Look at how high they are. Not going to be a lot of controversy about these, about getting these, uh, about, about putting wax and stuff like that on them. Guys, these are, might take a bit of breaking in. They are quite, do feel light. So the leather's quite supple already. So guys, this was just a first look at this stuff, right? Uh, as I took it out of the packet, uh, I'm obviously going to do a more in-depth review of these things as I uh, as as I get the look at them. Okay, so we'll have a first looks video of each of these coming up soon. Guys, thanks for watching, Mariana. All the people of Forster Liquor, guys, thank you very much for sending me this stuff over. I look forward to testing it out. Stay frosty.